The JG Brill Company manufactured trams, streetcars, also U.S. trolleys, trolley cars, into urban coaches, motor buses, trolley buses, and railroad cars in the United States for almost 90 years. It was the longest-lasting trolley and interurban manufacturer. At its height, Brill was the largest manufacturer of streetcars and interurban cars in the U.S. and produced more streetcars, interurbans, and gas electric cars than any other manufacturer, building more than 45,000 streetcars alone. The company was founded by John George Brill in 1868 as a horse car manufacturing firm in Philadelphia. Over the years, it absorbed numerous other manufacturers of trolleys and interurbans, such as Kuhlman in Cleveland and Jewett in Indiana. In 1944, with business diminishing, it merged with the American Car and Foundry Company ACF to become ACF Brill. Although the company ceased production in 1954, some of its interurbans served the Philadelphia area till the 1980s. Topic history In 1868 the Brill Company was founded as J.G. Brill & Sons. After James Rawl joined the firm in 1872 it was renamed the J.G. Brill Company. In 1902, Brill bought out the American Car Company. In 1904, G. C. Kuhlman Car Company and John Stevenson Company. And in 1907, Wayson Manufacturing Company. Brill acquired a controlling share of the Danville Car Company in 1908, dissolving it in 1911, and Canadian railway car builder Preston Car Company in 1921, which ceased operating in 1923. In 1926 American Car and Foundry Company acquired a controlling interest in what had become the Brill Corporation. The new structure consisted of, ACF Motors Company, which owned Hall Scott Motor Car Company 100% and controlled 90% of Fagil Motors, and the J.G. Brill Company. In 1944 these two companies merged, forming the ACF Brill Motors Company. In the same year, ACF Brill licensed Canadian Car and Foundry of Montreal to manufacture and sell throughout Canada motor buses and trolley coaches of their design as Canadian Car Brill. The firm built about 1,100 trolley buses and a few thousand buses under the name. Brill had earlier in 1908, established a company in France CIE. J. G. Brill of Gallardin, which was sold to Electroforge in 1935, in 1946 Consolidated Volte Aircraft Corporation acquired a controlling interest in ACF Brill for $7.5 million. Consolidated Volte was sold the following year to the Nashville Corporation, which in 1951 sold its share to investment firm Allen & Co. In early 1954, the Brill name disappeared when ACF Brill ceased production and subcontracted its remaining orders. Brill granted licenses to build its vehicles to the Canadian Car and Foundry, Peter Witt Streetcars, Trolley Buses and Motor Buses, and the South Australian Railways, Model 75 Railcars. Topic: <laughs> Products. Bernie Safety Car, by subsidiary, the American Car Company. Traditional arch-windowed, all-wood into urban cars. 1890-1920s. Model 55, 1924-38, Model 65, 1924, and Model 75, 1924, railcars. Almost 300 were built for U.S. and foreign railroads. A major purchaser was the South Australian Railways, which bought 12 Model 55 power cars plus trailers in 1924, followed in 1928 by 39 Model 75 power cars all but the first being constructed in South Australia at the Islington Railway Workshops plus trailers. The last was withdrawn from service in 1971. Steel heavy into urban cars built 1920-1930s. The Brill. Center door car was typical of suburban trolleys and interurbans built around 1920. These tended to be large, heavy, double ended cars, with passengers entering and exiting via doors located at the center of the car. Many rebuilt into one man cars. Brill, master unit, built 1930s. All steel, had standard controller stand, capable of 70 mph, P86 100. 
Brillina, Brill's competitor to the PCC President's Conference Committee car looked somewhat like the first PCCs. The Brillina was not successful when compared to the PCC. Underpowered. Few were sold, whereas PCCs were well sold worldwide. 24 built for Atlantic City's Miss America fleet. Brill. Bullet. Car, 1929-1932. For suburban, interurban use. Brill Diners, Brill sold and designed diners, generally through one of its four subsidiaries, the Wayson Manufacturing Company. The last one believed to be operating is the Capital Diner in Lynn, Massachusetts, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Peter Witt Streetcar Large cars with trailers Small cars Numerous models of trolleybuses, including T30, T40, 40SMT, 44SMT and, as ACF Brill, TC44 and T46, TC46 C36 City Bus IC41 Intercity Bus Topic bullet interurban cars The lines that operated interurban passenger cars recognized in the mid-1920s that they needed faster, quieter, more power-efficient equipment. Until then, the wooden and most of the steel interurban cars were large, sat high, and were heavy. Street cars were slow, noisy, and clumsy to operate using the motor controller stand of the time. Car manufacturers such as Cincinnati Car Co., who already in 1922 made a lightweight, albeit slow, interurban, St. Louis Car Co., Pullman, and Brill worked to design equipment for a better ride at high speed, improved passenger comfort, and reduced power consumption. This particularly involved designing low-level trucks bogies able to handle rough track at speed. Brill, in conjunction with Westinghouse and General Electric, worked on a new interurban design and on a new streetcar design, the PCC. The interurban design result was the aluminum and steel wind tunnel, the first in the railway industry, developed slope roof bullet new cars, the first of which were purchased in 1931 by the Philadelphia and Western Railroad, a third rail line running from 69th Street Upper Derby to Norristown in the Philadelphia region. This line still runs as SEPTA's Norristown High Speed Line. The bullets could attain speeds as high as 92 miles per hour, 148 kilometers per hour. They were very successful and operated until the 1980s, but Brill sold few others. Only the Central New York State Interurban Fonda, Johnstown, and Gloversville Railroad ordered bullets, albeit a single-ended, single-unit trolleyized version. Five were procured in mid-depression 1932 for passenger business that was rapidly declining. In 1936, the closing FJ and G sold these bullets to the Bamberger Railroad in Utah, which ran them in high-speed service between Salt Lake City and Ogden until the mid-1950s. Three of the Scepter bullet cars are now at the Seashore Trolley Museum, one is at the Electric City Trolley Museum in Scranton, one is at the Rock Hill Trolley Museum in Orbisonia, PA, one is at the National Museum of Transportation in St. Louis Mo, and one is at the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum in E. Washington. A Bamberger bullet is in the Orange Empire Railroad Museum in Paris, California, and another has been preserved by the Utah State Railroad Museum. A third is a part of a restaurant building in Springville, Utah, but is barely recognizable as a bullet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Brill look-alike cars in the 2010s. Since 2015 the junior Kyushu, one of the constituent companies of Japan Railways Group, has operated the Aru Resha Sweet Train, a deluxe excursion train. It comprises two power cars and two newly built trailer cars based on a luxury Brill car the railway ordered in 1908 but never used. Scale models of the original cars were used to derive the design. Topic. See also List of tram builders